Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use the Shape Builder tool. To use the Shape Builder tool, we need at least two overlapping shapes. First, I drew two squares and rotate them. When you open the sublayers in layer 1, you will notice two shapes, one yellow and one green. Before we can use the Shape Builder tool, first we need to select both shapes. Now select the Shape Builder tool from the toolbar panel or press the Shift and M keys on your keyboard. Notice the plus sign next to your cursor. With the plus sign active you can merge shapes together and create new shapes. To do this, just click, hold and drag across the shapes you want to merge. And we've got one shape. Let's undo it. With the shapes selected and the Shape Builder tool active, press and hold down the ALT key. You will notice that the cursor now has a minus sign next to it and we are ready to delete shapes. Click, hold and drag across a shape to delete it. And we've created one small square that is on top of the green square. Let's undo it. This time drag your mouse across the yellow shape including the intersecting part. And we've got another shape. Now select a different color and click on the intersecting part of these two shapes. By doing this we've created a third shape. Let's undo it. Select everything again, but this time click on the intersecting area while you are holding down the ALT key. This will delete the intersecting part and create a negative space. Let's create two overlapping circles. Now I will show you several options we have while using the Shape Builder tool. First make sure both shapes are selected. Then double click on the Shape Builder tool to open the dialog box. Here you can choose how you would like your Shape Builder tool to work. For example, you can change the way you select shapes. Let's change it from free form to straight line. Now when you click and drag, your line will always be straight. Let's change it back to free form selection. While using the freeform option, you can still draw a straight line or a selection area by holding down the shift key. Let's go back to the dialog box. In options, by selecting the second choice, you can split paths while in merging mode. When you hover your mouse over a path, you will notice that the cursor now shows the split path mark and the path's color changes to red. Let's click on the green circle's path to split it. You will notice that the circle is split where the two shapes are overlapping. And of course you can create new shapes by clicking within any bounded area. Let's go back and click on the overlapping area to create this shape. Delete everything else. This will be a flower petal. Now create extra petals by rotating it around the bottom anchor point and copy it. Select everything, choose the Shape Builder tool, open the Swatches panel and let's say we would like to create shapes and use the colors from this color group. We can select the first color in this group and then click on the first shape. Then select the next color and create the next shape and so on.
Let's undo it. With all the shapes still selected, double click on the Shape Builder tool and select the Cursor Swatch Preview. Here you can switch between the colors in this color group by using the right or left arrow key on your keyboard. When you have to create many shapes, this can really speed up your work. Let's turn off the Cursor Swatch Preview. Now create four aligned circles. Select all of them and then choose the Shape Builder tool. Switch to a different color and click in the empty area to create another shape. And we've got this shape. Now let's do the same, but this time move the upper right circle just a tiny bit to the right to create a small gap. Next select all four circles and double click on the Shape Builder tool. At the top we have an option of choosing the gap detection. We can select the gap length from small, medium, large or custom. Let's choose custom and set the gap to the lowest value possible. Now when we hover over the center area we are unable to create a shape. Let's go back to the options and increase the gap length to 2 pixels. Now we can click in the center and create a shape. However, if you zoom in, you will notice that Illustrator fills the gap for you and creates a slightly different shape. This might be ok in some situations, but not acceptable in others. Now I will show you how you can create shapes out of overlapping circles. Let's draw a circle, create a copy, rotate it around the circle by 72 degrees and create more copies. With everything selected, go to the Shape Builder tool. Select a different color and then click, hold and drag across some areas to create a shape. Switch to a different color and single click to create this shape. Select another color and click on this area. Let's move these three shapes away and delete everything else. Select the blue shape, scale it up, rotate it by 180 degrees and create a copy. Scale it up, create one more copy and move it down a bit. Select all three shapes and use the Shape Builder tool to delete the outside shapes. Then pick a different color and click on this area to create a stripe. Let's select the red shape, rotate it and scale it up. Switch to the Direct Selection tool, select these two anchor points and round the corners. Now add a circle on top to create a hat. Finally select the green shape, rotate it and scale it up. Let's create two more copies and arrange them into a tree. If you wish, you can create a shadow. First draw a rectangle to cover half of the tree. Select all green parts, switch to the Shape Builder tool and delete the unwanted part. Select this new shape. Now open the transparency window and change the blending mode to multiply. Experiment with different shapes, sizes and have fun. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.